Hi guys, this is O Level Chemistry, paper 12, November 2016, question 11. Aqueous sodium hydroxide is added to a sample of a colorless solution. Aqueous ammonia is added to a separate sample of the colorless solution. In both cases, a white precipitate forms, which is soluble in the excess reagent. Which positive ion is present in the solution? Okay. So, aluminum gives a po positive test with sodium hydroxide and it dissolves in excess. But with ammonia, it gives a white precipitate which does not dissolve in excess. So, it's not aluminum. With calcium, a white precipitate forms with sodium hydroxide which does not dissolve in excess. So, calcium is incorrect. With copper, the precipitate formed is blue in color and the precipitate we have is white. So, this is not correct. With zinc, if we add aqueous NaOH and aqueous ammonia drop by separately, we get a white precipitate and in excess of NaOH and in excess of ammonia, the white precipitate dissolves giving a colorless solution, which was the result that we obtained. That means the ion present is Zn2 plus or zinc ions, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 12. In an experiment, one cm cube of a gaseous hydrocarbon Z requires four cm cube of oxygen for complete combustion to give three cm cube of carbon dioxide. All gas volumes are measured at RTP. Okay, so for this question, we are talking about combustion. So the general combustion equation, equation is CXHY plus X plus Y upon 4 O2 giving us X CO2 and Y upon 2 H2O. Now we are going to test for only two compounds because this is 3 cm cube of carbon dioxide which is equal to 3 moles. So X should be 3 and X plus Y upon 4 should be equal to 4 according to the question itself. So, the one in which x equals 3 are C and D, eliminating options A and B. So, let's test this. In C, we have got 3 as x and y upon 4 would be 4 upon 4. So, 4 upon 4 equals 1, 3 plus 1 equals 4 moles of oxygen which is what is required and we have x moles of co2 x equals 3 which is equal to uh, uh, the requirement that means 3 moles of co2 so this is correct now let's test d and why it is wrong so in d we have 3 plus 8 upon 4 8 upon 4 gives us 2. 3 plus 2 gives us 5. So instead of 4, we are getting 5 for D. And number of moles of CO2 is 3 CO2. So the value of CO2 that we obtain is correct, but the moles of oxygen is not 4, it is 5. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option C. Question 13. Which is the best conductor of electricity? Diamond. Diamond is a giant covalent molecule which does not conduct electricity. Magnesium is a metal which would conduct electricity really well. Pure ethanoic acid. Pure ethanoic acid will not conduct electricity because it will be present in its molecular form. In an aqueous solution, ions would be present. So the aqueous solution of ethanoic acid will conduct electricity, but it is not the best conductor. And solid sodium chloride, solid ionic compounds do not conduct electricity. Ionic compounds conduct in the aqueous and the molten state. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option B. Question 14. Molten salts of four metals are electrolyzed. The ions of which metal requires the smallest number of electrons for one mole of atom to be liberated during electrolysis. Okay, aluminum has an ion of 
charge three positive, it would require three moles of electrons to produce one mole of aluminum. Calcium having a two positive charge would require two moles of electrons to produce one mole of calcium metal. Iron, we have two possibilities. Either we have iron two plus or we have iron three plus. In the case of iron two plus, two moles of electron would be required. In the case of iron three plus, three moles of electrons would be required. So in both of these cases, one mole of iron would be produced. And for sodium, we have Na positive ion requiring one mole of electron producing one mole of sodium metal. The question asked the smallest number of electrons for one mole. So the smallest number of electrons for one mole is required by sodium ions. The moles of electrons required is one mole and the moles of sodium produced is also one making option D the correct option for this question. Question 15. An endothermic reaction has an activation energy of X. Which energy profile diagram is correct for this reaction? Okay. So endothermic. Energy profile diagrams B and C are eliminated because they represent exothermic reactions. Now looking at A and D, A has the activation energy labeled from the reactants till the maximum energy state while D has it labeled from products till the maximum energy state. So activation energy is the energy required by the reactants. So it would be from the reactants till the maximum energy state known as the transition state. So option A is correct. Option D is incorrect. Therefore, option A is the correct option for this question. Question 16. The following statements refer to the use of catalysts in chemical reactions. A catalyst increases the activation energy of a reaction. No, it decreases the activation energy of a reaction. Next, a catalyst increases the rate of reaction. Yes, a catalyst does increase the rate of reaction. And next, a catalyst increases the yield of a reaction. No, a catalyst has no effect on the yield of the reaction. So out of these three statements, only statement two is correct, making option C the correct option for this question. Question 17. In two experiments, one and two, an excess of powdered calcium carbonate was reacted in a flask with dilute hydrochloric acid. In experiment one, the carbon dioxide evolved was collected and the volume of gas measured at regular intervals. In experiment two, the mass of the flask and its contents was measured at regular intervals. The result of both experiments were plotted on graph. Which graph correctly shows the results of these two experiments? Okay, so... For experiment one, W shows that there is an increase in the volume of gas collected and it finally reaches a plateau region. That means all the gas that evolved was collected. And X shows a continuous increase in the volume of the gas collected. So that is not possible. So X is incorrect, W is correct. So options A and B have W, options C and D have been eliminated. Now, for experiment two, we have a loss in mass. So we are measuring the mass of the flask and its content. So there will be a gradual loss in mass until the loss in mass is no more. So the mass becomes constant, which is there in Y. However, in Z, the mass has reached zero. So it is not possible that the mass of the flask, even if it is empty, reaches zero. So Z is incorrect. So the correct graph for experiment two is Y making option A the correct option for this question. Question 18. Iron 2 ions react with chlorine. Which statement about this reaction is correct? Chlorine is reduced by iron 2 ions. So chlorine has a charge of 0 on the reactant side and a charge of minus 1 on the product side. So 
chlorine undergoes reduction and iron 2 are oxidized to iron 3 so this statement is correct chlorine is a reducing agent no chlorine itself is getting reduced so it is an oxidizing agent iron 2 ions are reduced by chlorine no iron 2 ions are oxidized by chlorine so iron 2 ions are the oxidizing agent no since iron 2 ions themselves are getting oxidized they are the reducing agent so this makes option a the correct option for this question Question 19. When water is liquid, it ionizes slightly. The forward reaction is endothermic. When the temperature of water is increased, which changes take place? The water becomes acidic? No. Since it is endothermic, the forward reaction will be favored, but that would increase the concentration of H positive and OH negative ions equally, keeping it neutral. So statement 1 is incorrect. 2. The water becomes alkaline. Same reason. If the concentration of OH negative ion is increasing, the concentration of H positive ions are increasing equally. So, it remains neutral. More water molecules form ions. Yes, since the fo uh, forward reaction is favored, so more water molecules will be converted into ions. As statement 3 is correct, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 20. The table shows some properties of four metal chlorides. Which row is magnesium chloride? So the color would be white and not green, eliminating options A and B. Solubility in water. Magnesium chloride will be soluble in water. So this eliminates option C. And methods of precipitation would be reaction of metal with acid, meaning Mg would react with two moles of HCl reducing MgCl2 and releasing hydrogen gas. So option D is the correct option for this question.